candy. And today we're doing a project. Mom, explain. So the reason why we're doing this is we tend to, now with the digital era of photos, we tend to sometimes forget to get our photos printed. And we decided we wanted to display all of our vacation photos, like family vacation photos. <laughs> and um, display them in the house. So we came up with this idea, instead of going out and buying a bunch of frames and then having to worry about the pictures fitting in the frames just perfectly, we are going to do a project where we just put all of our photos on these thick foam boards. So if you guys want to make this project, we kind of share with you guys the supplies and everything you need and you are going to watch us make it. So, and we have four spongy sticks. So we needed Sponge some on a stick. foam paintbrush, <laughs> And we need Mod Podge, which I've never used before. And apparently you paint this right over the photos, which just seems By the crazy way, to me. But these are it's called like a sealer, I guess. Stick. They're called sponge on a Great. stick. Can we open So this first what we have to do before we can even start our project is Go last them. night I already went through all of our vacation photos. As soon I wanna say the very first year I had digital on my computer was two thousand and six. So I went through and I picked out like 40 some different vacation photos and I'm going to show you guys how I always use Walgreens for my photo printing needs because it's not too far, far from our house and they have one hour photo which is nice so we're going to go ahead and upload all of our photos to Walgreens and then Carly and I are going to go pick those up and then we're going to come back and we're going to, to do it. We're going to hopefully come up with the perfect photo collage. Okay. So basically all you have to do when you go to the Walgreens website is click right here on photo and I already have an account set up so I can't really show you how to set up an account but it's really easy. So here's all the different albums that I've had through the years. Um, you can go ahead and you can uh, select all and then you can order your prints. You click right here, order your prints. You can do an express order of four by six prints of every picture. So there we go, we added 34 prints to my cart. And then proceed to check out, they'll send you an email when your prints are ready to be picked up. It's that easy. All right, so now we're at Walgreens getting our photos. Did you see how big that printer is? Look, it's probably to print like posters and stuff, I bet. Isn't that big? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we got our photos. Let's look at them. Oh, look at how little. <laughs> Florida. Look at that one. What? This Florida one? from a long time ago. That one. Smoky Mountains. <laughs> Disney. I don't look very happy. <laughs> Cause my pants were all wet. Oh, oh I look pretty. New York. Do you remember that? What is that? Niagara Falls. Oh uh, yeah, I was just gonna say I could just saw that. Look at my teeth. <laughs> that was Cancun. Okay, that was Cancun. So we're back with the photos and in the car I kind of put them in order a little. Well, we, they don't have to be in order. I kind of want them to be random because some of them we have they like two photos from say like one trip, like our recent trip to Chicago. We actually have more than one photo from that trip. I don't want necessarily all the Chicago photos to be together. And But first what we're doing is we're just going to play around with the photos and get them in a good layout that we're happy with. And apparently Carly here oh, is handling that portion of the project. Finish. Okay, so we have all of our pictures laid out on both boards. Let go. And we used this photo cutter to resize some of our photos. And then we're going to use this double-sided sticky tape to stick down all of the pictures on the board. And you're going to need to be very careful that they're aligned up and not crooked because once you stick them down, they're not coming back. Yeah, and you only really need to use one row of stickiness. Stickiness. So, we've obviously started the Mod Podge, and this seems really weird. Like, we're literally just taking glue, right? Isn't this weird? Like, we're yeah, taking small print.
Okay, you guys, we got the first board done. This is like, I don't know, the weirdest thing. Is this not weird? It is. <laughs> to be covering all this with like, it's basically like glue. And apparently this just seals the pictures and it dries clear, but it just, I don't know. I've never used this stuff before. It was a lot of fun though. So um, oh Carly's gonna finish up her board and we're gonna let these sit and dry. She has to go to dance class and we're hoping, hoping when she gets okay. home from dance class, that what? will be dry. <laughs> that they look like what? Hoping. <laughs> what do we hope they Good. look like when we get home? Not sloppy glue. Like clear. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back home and look at our photo boards. So this is how they turned out. What if like, what if like, it's by corner by corner, so it's like this. So it's we're like gonna right see where we want to hang them. Carly and wants to hang them in my office, so. And we're gonna use these double-sided sticky tapes right on the center on the back. We won't even have to put holes in the walls because these no. boards are so light. Um. What it looks like, it kind of just gives it almost like a photo finish. Like a kind of like a texture. It does, I was. And it makes it like look that we didn't put the pictures there and they're they, like. Like they were printed. Like um, on that. Yeah. Like how laminated. Yep. Stuff. So we're really happy with the way these turned out. We're going to go ahead and hang them on the wall. We'll show you guys what they look like. If you want to try this project, you don't need a lot of supplies. And just remember that you can uh, get your photos processed in one hour by using Walgreens Ooh. Photo. And it took an hour to do that? Yeah, you upload them right to the website and get them printed. Pick them up within an hour. So by that's it for today. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up this video. And the question of the day is, how many states have you been to besides the one you're living in? Well, there's a lot of people that watch our videos that don't even live in the United States. So have you ever been to the United States? And if so, how many states have you traveled in? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.